Finally got our new home wired up with Ethernet and thought I'd do a quick video to show you what we got here. Yeah, I have not done a lot of videos lately. I've just been very busy with a new home and a move and everything, but here's a little something so everyone knows I'm alive. So this is a 14 by 28 inch structured media cabinet I got off Amazon. It's a... I don't remember the brand name, but I'll post a link below if I think of it. It was about $100. And it was a better deal, I felt, than the Leventon, because this comes with a hinged door. And the Leventon did not. So I like that. Yeah, this thing's going to keep... Well, I'm just working out my exposure. There we go. Lock the exposure so it doesn't keep strobing. Okay. This is compatible with the Leventon structured media parts. So you can see this is a Leventon um, frame, or what you want to call it, for holding the keystone jacks. I've got a few installed there for wire going to different places. Uh, everything else I have, I, I did get this little Leventon shelf here that's holding the modem up. Everything else is not really designed for a structured media cabinet. What I ended up doing, you can see here, this is uh, it's just metal pipe strap like you get at the hardware store. I found that it was like almost a perfect fit for the to line up with the holes for the Leventon structured media parts. So that worked out great. I just cut it to size and then I uh, round and smooth the edges over on the grinder and it's worked beautifully. So I don't know, maybe a little hillbilly, but I think it looks good and it works really well. And the holes are already the perfect size for the little uh, push pins, which are also Leventon. But yeah, we've got the cable coming in directly to the modem. We don't have cable TV or anything, so that's the only thing connected to it. That's feeding into this uh, Ubiquiti Edge Router X. That's a nice, uh, affordable router for home use. It's We've got 100 meg internet. It's... Plenty capable of doing that and more. And uh, I used to use PFSense, and I liked PFSense, but they just didn't have as affordable an option as they used to. Their stuff was just getting too expensive for me, so I changed to this. I forget what I paid for that, but it, it wasn't too much. Um, of course, there's power down there. I've just got an ISO bar providing power. I'm not anything fancy. This cabinet is meant to be inside a wall, you know, in drywall. It's a, you know, four inch, but this is a block wall, so I've just got it surface mounted. The edge router, it's got, uh, of course, one port for the WAN, and then the other four I've got set to the local area network, and then I've got a five port switch in addition to that, so with the uplink um, accounted for. There's four ports, which is plenty for what we're doing here. Got another switch in the office area, which we'll see. This Raspberry Pi, which is named Amelie for the character from the movie of the same name, is managing the Unify access point, so it's got the Unify controller running on it. There's a PoE for the Unify. I don't have a PoE switch since I just have the one device. And then we've got our connections uh, coming in from the cable and going out to the other switch and to the access point. Uh, one going to the media room for the PlayStation. Pretty basic. I'm, you know, I'm a former IT guy. I don't do IT now. I'm just doing software, but. I was never really a network guy, although I learned some, but I don't like to get complicated. There's no VLANs or anything fancy here. This is enough for what we're doing. So, go look at the switch in the office now. Okay, this is in the office area. So, my wife and I both work from home, which is what prompted me to get this going finally, because we need reliable internet, uh, since we both are working from home and my wife does a lot of teleconferencing so this is an eight port switch it's a tp link like the one in the other 
cabinet. They're unmanaged, again, keeping things simple. And that patch panel is a trend net. I think you can see the model number. It's TCP12C6AS. I really like that patch panel. It's a little expensive, and it's kind of overkill for what we're doing. It's made for Cat 6A, but I really liked how it was designed, and it just made getting everything installed and run much easier. And uh, all those, you see I have all those patch cables to the right length. I made all of them mostly because it was cheaper than buying them, but it also just looks really nice. So this is what feeds our offices, which are adjacent to each other, so that's pretty easy. And I'll show a little bit of what's in my office here. Okay, and this is over at my area that I call the laboratory, uh, the laboratory, because it's always a mess and it's where I'm always working on things. But I've got, of course, there's the uh, lines coming in. One's going to this little five port switch that I use for projects. This is the old um, router firewall, the PF Sense. It was a PC Engines Alex, I think was the board. Uh, I have to say that red case is just, man, that just screams firewall. I love it, but unfortunately it's time to upgrade. But I can't bring myself to get rid of it just yet. And then over here we've got, there's a Synology NAS. It's a DS214SE, which is a very bare bones, uh, slow, honestly, Synology NAS. But all I really use it for is Cloud Station, so that's fine. It's good enough for what we're doing. And finally, here is the Unify Access Point. It's an AC Pro model. And it's on the ceiling in our hallway. And uh, it also makes a great nightlight as well. But it's in a nice central location so we get good Wi-Fi throughout. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the tour of our home network. And maybe it won't be so long until I do my next video.